Can I have your full name and what team you're coaching? Alosha Piric, University of Miami. Okay, so we have two questions for you today. You were probably the next player, right? And you have all your players that you coach. How many days a year do you think that you felt 100% when you were out there in the competition mode? Uh, 10? Max 10, 15 or something like that? Yeah, we've asked hundreds of players and they all answer roughly 5, 10 days a year. So how do you become a better match player when you're not feeling 100%? How, what do you tell your players or what did you tell yourself when you were a player? Well, you know, you, how do you go out there and compete? I just think you have to, I think feelings, feelings at the end of the day are, are movable. Uh, we don't control them a lot of times um, and we have to make sure that uh, we uh, uh, accept that. And I think when we accept that, then, then we can actually control what we can control. And if we learn how to control what's controllable, then we can have good performances in day, day in and day out. I love the reply. So accept and then deal with how you're feeling on the day, right? Correct. Okay. Um, any other tips or suggestions for our subscribers? Just uh, work hard, uh, stay consistent, um, and stack up good days on top of good days. Love it. What about practice matches? Does playing a lot of practice matches help then the tournament matches? It does as long as as long as practice matches are approached uh, with a similar intensity, which is very hard to uh, uh, replicate. But uh, there's certain guys who can do that, and those guys typically stand out. I love it, Coach. Good luck, and I uh, really appreciate your time. Yes, no worries, man. Oh, awesome, good luck. Man. Thanks.